All right, well, we've had a weekend of fun racing, but last but not least, we're going to do our junior spotlight, which is going to be none other than Brady Wadina. So when you went out there on that race, uh, how does it feel to be in your dad's hometown? Pretty good. Just you got to ride smart. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's pretty smart of you at a young age to be saying that. What do you think your biggest challenge was out there on that course? Um, just to finish. Absolutely. Good. You're, you're saying some pretty good stuff. So I'm going to kind of guess, I think I know the answer to this, but who would you say your favorite pro rider is? My dad. And who, who's your dad? Ray Wadena. Is he the one that kind of got you into racing? Yeah. So what do you like best about him? Like what's his best skill about being a pro racer? Um, he's just really good and he's been racing for a long time and I like him. Well, uh, you just like him, right? Yeah, because yeah. he's my dad. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well, we're here with Ree. So let me just tell you, as this is definitely a family sport out here. You know, this is not just, you know, you come out there. It's all about a lot of times brothers and fathers and sons. How does it make you as a dad to know that your son wants to get out there and race too? Uh, I'm pretty proud. Um, I just, just watched him race this week, and then uh, there was a few bumps in, in the corners and whatnot, and uh, yeah, he just played it really smart. He almost wiped out a couple times, but he just he just slowed her down a little bit, and he played it cool, and it's really awesome, though. How old was Brady Was he when you first put him on a sled? Uh, he was about four. Yeah. So what do you say? Like, there's people out there that are kind of watching. You know, they like to sled here and there, but they're kind of thinking, maybe I should go ahead and put my kid in there. What is it that you'd say to those parents? Yeah, for sure. Um, just come out here and have fun. I mean, we're we're down on numbers, and and it's a blast for every everybody. Uh, there's classes for everybody, you know, sport classes up to pro classes, you know. Um, the kids really enjoy it. I mean, you can tell by how much fun they have just by riding and stuff like that. So it's just amazing. It's absolutely a good time. All right, well, we're at the end of the season. How would you say? What was your favorite race throughout all of them? Uh, definitely the I-500. Um, that was that was that's awesome. Always an awesome race. So uh, yeah, anytime we can go from Winnipeg down to Bemidji and whatnot, try to get to Wilmer is is a good accomplishment. Uh, that was my first uh, point to point 500 like that. Um, but no, there was some good some good uh, venues and stuff like that, like Park Rapids. I like running through the woods there. Um, yeah, I just kind of struggled a little bit this year on the ice. I was lacking a little bit of speed, but other than that. The bumps was uh, my funnest part of the year, so I did pretty well. Absolutely. It did seem like the water was a little bit of a challenge. I'd say the biggest obstacle out there on the course, that's what the race was saying. Did you have any problems with the water getting into your goggles with the visibility? It seemed like I had some people talking about that. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Actually, I, I was getting air bubbles up into my, into my goggles, so it was it was pretty cold, too. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it was wild for sure. All right. Well, congratulations on your guys' season, and congratulations, Brady. We hope to see you again uh, next season. Is there anything that you want to say to your fans out there? Nothing. Just go for racing. Absolutely. All right. Well, if you want to learn more, go to usxc.com.